Hello everyone and welcome back to our first hands-on project in this Git and GitHub course. So you have learned the fundamental concepts and commands, uh, what Git is, uh, how to install Git, how to initialize the repositories, uh, understand the workflow and even how to undo basic mistakes. Now it's time to put all of this knowledge into practice. Today. Uh, your mission is to simulate a solo local project. So we will create a simple project, uh, make multiple changes and practice the entire Git workflow loop you have just learned. This is where the concepts truly stick. So here is what we will be doing in this project. So we will create a new uh, project directory and initialize a Git repository. Create a readme file and we will add initial content to it. We will practice the core workflow, which is your staging, committing and viewing the history multiple times. Uh, and then we will simulate and undo accidental changes using git restore commands. Are you ready? Open up your terminal or git bash and let's get building. So step one would be to set up your project. So first, let's create a fresh directory for our project and make it a git repository. So I recommend creating a new folder in a place where you can easily find it like your documents or a projects folder. So let's call this as my solo project. So here we have our new uh, folder and now let's go inside this folder and you will see that this is an empty project folder. Then we will initialize this git repository by running the git init command. Perfect. You should see the message confirming that this is an empty git repository and it has been initialized. Remember, this creates the hidden .git folder which is the heart of your repository. Now let's check the initial status. So let me clear this and if you check the initial status by running the git status command. As expected, uh, git tells us there are no commits yet and our working tree is clean. So we are ready to make our first change. Step two would be to create your first file and then commit your changes. So for this project, we will create a simple readme file. This is a common file in many projects that provides an overview of your uh, project or the application that you're working on. So we will create a readme file by using this command let's call this as readme.md now if you run the git status command once again git sees our readme file as untracked files now let's add some initial content to this file uh, so let's say this is my solo sorry first solo project This is the beginning of my project where I am exploring Git fundamentals. And you can add whatever you want, that's totally up to you. So let's save this file. Next, we will stage. Our changes so we have created and modified the readme file and the next step is to stage it so that we can commit our changes so for that we'll use the git add command and this will stage our changes so running the git status command once again should show the um, readme file under changes to be committed which is basically our staging area next we will make our first commit so Time to permanently save your changes. So remember um, the good tips for your commit messages. So we'll use this git commit hyphen m and let's say this is my initial commit setup project and add basic readme.md. So you know I'm having a good commit message over here. Excellent. You have made your very first commit so here you can see 
uh, one file change three insertions a file has been uh, created and your message your commit id as well now we can uh, confirm this by looking at the history which is by using the git log command and then i want it in one single line so you can see there's the uh, commit id and then the commit message obviously you can look at the longer version of this as well for in the git log command so there it is your project now has a recorded history step 3 would be to make more changes and more commits so development is iterative right so let's simulate some more uh, work and some more commits so we'll add a new section to the um, readme.md file so let's say uh, we'll call this as project goals and then maybe learn get basics and then understand staging and um, committing and then let's say practice undoing mistakes right i mean you can give whatever you want and then let's save this file now we'll create one more file so let's call this as notes dot txt and let's add some content to this file so let's say them notes for development and maybe research markdown syntax for readme and then let's say and the next feature again just some dummy data now let's check the status by running the git status command and now we have two files with changes right so we have one which is the untracked file and then we have one which where the changes are not yet staged or committed we have modified the file now let's stage both of them by using the git add dot command so because we have multiple files we can use the dot here now let's confirm whether the changes are staged so when we run the git status you can see both the files are under the changes to be committed one of them is a modified file and one of them is a new file now it's time for our second commit so git commit hyphen m and it's a feature so add project tools to readme and create notes file let's view our history perhaps with the graph view this time so git log hyphen hyphen one line hyphen hyphen graph and you should see two comments in your history so this is the initial um, commit and this is the latest commit that we have done. Fantastic progress. Step four would be to make and unmake accidental changes. So this is where we test our undo skills. So we'll talk about some scenarios. And so first scenario would be discarding changes in working directory. So let's modify our um, readme.md file with a mistake. So, you know, we will... Uh, intentionally make some uh, mistakes so let's say uh, delete this file asap this is a terrible idea so let's save this and now if you run the git status command it shows that the file has been modified now after some time i realize oh no that's wrong and let's get rid of it so that's where when you run the git status command it will tell you the command that you can use to discard your 